We will also today be learning about a new society, uh, a society which these people are hoping to form for people with hemochromatosis. And I think that was, is going to be requiring some explanation. Mm -hmm. And certainly we'll get that explanation from our guest today. Sounds serious. We would like to introduce Marie Warder and her husband, Tom. Nice to have you both here. Thank you. That's an unusual way to introduce to people. I didn't say Mr. and Mrs. Tom Warder. No. <laughs> it was Marie Warder and her husband, Tom. And I think the reason I what? said that was that it was Marie who called me about mm -hmm. this society. Tell us uh, what your plans are, please, Marie. Well, um, actually, it, it's, it's encouraging that you didn't know what it meant because this proves the need for bringing this whole thing to the notice of the public. Mm -hmm. By the time we've finished, we hope that hemochromatosis, as I said the other day to a friend, will be as common as maybe interest or um, budget or the flu. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. you know? uh -huh. We want people to know what this means because you wouldn't believe it, but there are even doctors who tell us that they have never seen a case that uh, one doctor said it was only in a textbook. I wrote an article for a magazine and they said that the, it was a, a good story but that they'd had uh, this research by a doctor on their panel and he said that he um, had again never seen a case, it was only a word in an examination question. Is it pretty rare? Well, we believe that it is not rare and uh, I think that once this society or foundation or whatever we are going to call it is launched, by the way we've been in touch with Ottawa mm -hmm. and somebody phoned just before I came here today, I had hoped to have more news but it's still sort of pending. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps it would be better if I told you that hemochromatosis, you would gather it has something to do with, with the blood, blood. right? Yes. right. Chroma, maybe something to do with color. Color, yes. Right. Well, this is perhaps a misnomer, which I shall explain in a moment, too. But it is basically a disease caused by iron overload. Now, my accent is very difficult. People think I'm talking about I O N, you know, like irons. I mean the metal. Iron. Iron. Yeah. iron. And uh, it has taken me about a year now to make contact with some of the people in Victoria who have it. It hasn't been easy because doctors are ethically not permitted to disclose the names of their patients. Mm -hmm. But we knew they were out there. Mm -hmm. And then eventually uh, I, I decided that I would like to write a book which might help to bring this to the notice of, of people who could be saved in time. And then I was very much encouraged by a gentleman called Reindeer who's on CFMS yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and Reindeer would appeal on a Sunday morning for people to contact me and I have a good friend down at uh, the ambulatory care at Victoria General and whenever a patient came in for treatment she would tell him about me and uh, a nurse in uh, the office of one of the doctors here did the same. Now you notice that I say would tell him mm -hmm. uh, because it has always been believed that this affects men. All right, now I have no. to presume that your husband, Tom, has it. is the one who is... I'm uh, the guinea pig, yes. You're yes. the guinea pig. Yes. Tom, Here's my Exhibit A. Your Exhibit mm -hmm. A. Let, let's hear from Exhibit A. <clears throat> How does hemochromatosis affect you? Well, I have to go back 12 years, 12 or 13 years, and the first indications, we never knew then what it was, the first indications were I, I became diabetic suddenly, which was uh, relieved by pills, and then it got worse, and I started going on to insulin. And for five years, I got worse and worse. I even developed a resistance to insulin. That's oh, wow. one of the, one of the uh, problems of this hemochromatosis. It lodges or it affects the pancreas and among other organs. But one of the first signs is, is diabetes. And in fact, the Americans have dubbed it, or mis perhaps it's a misnomer, they call it bronze diabetes. Because immediately you get the diabetes, you go a nice, healthy bronze color. Oh. And everyone says, this guy looks pretty good to me, there's nothing wrong with him. Right. Mm -hmm. But I lost weight about 56 pounds. Wow. My uh, in a few, in, in a matter of five months. Mm -hmm. And um, if it hadn't have been for Marie's uh, intensive research and her uh, determination, I would have been gone about, well, they gave me, when they did diagnose the hemochromatosis, they gave me 12 weeks. 12 weeks? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how bad I was. 
oh, my wow. color, the pigment of my hands had changed to a deep purpley brown. I was a mahogany color. Wow. And um, it was just by, by accident that I met one of the by men. By the grace of God, yes. I'd say. Yes, mm -hmm. I should say. Um, one of the leading authorities on the, on the disease was, was very pleased to hear that they'd found another case because it was so rare. Yes. It's uh, hereditary, they've discovered, and pertinent main, mainly to men of later years, it's an accumulation of the iron through the years that gets into the system, lodges in the organs and disrupts them, and people never know what they've got. They think they're diabetic, they think they have cirrhosis of the liver, they think they have kidney, kidney trouble. trouble and so on, and uh, various failures of organs, mm -hmm. uh, among others the pituitary gland, it lodges there. Oh, so the goodness. pituitary gland is one of the, the centers, the nerve centers that controls all the, yeah. <coughs> the other organs. Right. Yes. Consequently, I was a wreck, and uh, as I say, 12 weeks down the line I, I was expected to go. What happened to, to Well, I found this man, that. fortunately, who and detected it. And they also it. found a, a miracle insulin to keep him alive mm. while the treatment... They were getting insulin yes. from Den Denmark for mm. me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was experimental at that time, and then it's since been put on the market. Um, we find in Canada, it's, uh, it's an ins there's an insulin that, that is made here as compatible or comparable, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it, it holds my diabetes down. But the main... A point that I'm so grateful about is the fact that they did discover it mm -hmm. and there was they were able to treat me uh, it's not curable it's a malfunction of something in my system which is handed down through the my fathers and ge the generations before me mm -hmm. yes and uh, this uh, malfunction it's apparently somewhere in the bowel uh, allows me to ingest all the iron that I eat most people take the iron they need and well, the rest is discarded. Yes, yes. Now I take it all in. I'm a man of iron. Well, you're a man <laughs> of iron and you hang so on to it. So that's the story, uh, yes. very basically uh, my story of what happened to me. But uh, mm. at one stage I didn't know whether I was Arthur or Martha or where I was coming or going. My goodness. Now we, in less than a minute that we have left here, uh, there is now some sort of treatment that is keeping yes. you alive, For obviously. Phlebotomies only. Pardon me? It has to be bled. Just bled. It sounds like two the pints a week initially. Shades of Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. Shades of Robin Hood, or the the old um, people who used to put the, the leeches leeches on mm -hmm. the, the skin. The yes, they bleed me initially twice a week, then w then once a week, and now every two weeks, I give a pint. Well, now wow. uh, is that uh, blood usable? Not not at the moment. It, it can be changed into plasma. They have done in some countries, mm -hmm. but uh, the the blood itself they're not using it because of the possibility of possibility ingestion of, of passing iron. it on. Okay. Marie, you have a phone number that you want to pass on to other people who are yes, interested, please. obviously. Yes, um, please. 382 4021. 4021. 21. Mm -hmm. Or 592 8979. And I'm hoping, Ida, that as a result of today, we'll make contact with a lady who is out there um, who will just prove further that the fact that women don't often get it. And the other reason that we have for being so personally involved is the fact that my daughter at 30 was diagnosed. Really? Now, oh we had a meeting at our home on Friday and everybody there had either arthritis, well they all have arthritis, three are borderline, three are serious diabetics, one is borderline, several have liver malfunction, one serious cirrhosis. Funnily enough, the one man is not pigmented, which proves that the word bronze diabetes is a misnomer. Of course it is. So but you want to get in contact with these people, or as many right. people. Now, the point I'd like to make very quickly is that, all right, it's not such a big deal. There are millions of people out there with arthritis or diabetes. But in this particular case, it was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. We now that we've got together and we're talking, we know there are people who have it uh, and have induced it by taking too many iron supplements. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's try to uh, help in any way we can. Those two phone numbers once again are 592-8979-382-4021 for Marie and Tom Warder who are interested in learning more from uh, hemochromatosis sufferers who may not even know they are, but for more information those are the numbers to call. Thank you very Thank much. You. So nice to have Thank you both you. here. Best, Best wishes to